All my vegans, I just want to talk to you right now. It's raining out here right now, and no, I don't have an umbrella. And as I walk, you're gonna see that there's gonna be plenty of people that have umbrellas out here. But um, you know, I'm not scared of the elements. Nothing but a little sprinkle here. It's all good. It's what God provides out of the forest. Nothing matter with rain, man. I'm not gonna melt anything like that. You gotta enjoy what's out here, man. So yeah, I'm walking past the little health care center right now. And as I walk past the health care center, that just reminds me of my clinical. The other day, you know, I took a little home health aid course. Home health aid, that's when you help the sick and elderly people. You go to the house, you know, you watch over them. You care for them, things like that. Look out for their best of health. So the thing is, you know, you say, why would you do that if you've been a hairstylist for since 1983? Over 30 years, 32 years. So the reason why I decided to do that is because for one thing, I care about people. I need somebody to care about, care for me one day. And we all need somebody. So at the end of the day, you know, I'm compassionate. I love people, I love to help. So therefore, you know, I wanna be able to show and help and be a factor out here in life. And also too, it's a stepping stone because Home Health Aid will take me to the next level. They have a great union. They can also advance my career as far as, you know, school. I wanna go back to school and you know, I do have, like four years ago, I was going, before I had the fire, and the, my building fire, and had to leave the place that I was living in, the brownstone I was living in for 17 years. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, bad things make good things. They wipe the slate, start from the beginning, start from the ground up. That's how I'm down here in Chinatown, so it's all good. I'm not upset over that. But, um, anyway... The reason why I decided to, you know, I just paid a loan off that I had when I went for electronic engineering back in 1999. It's 2015 now. That's a 16 year loan. I didn't finish. I was going for a couple of semesters and I had a school break for a month and a half. During that school break, this was after I was already had owned my couple of salons and things like that. I relocated, I came over here when I first came to New York. And what happened was, I, um, I started working at a salon and I started bringing home $800 a week, bringing home. So, with that happening, I was like, man, I'm going back up to six figures again doing hair. No need to, you know, pursue anything else here. Let me stay with my craft here. Long story short, shortly after that, and this is another reason for health, the boss that I had at the time, she was an awesome young lady. She was younger than me. I'll never forget, she just had her 30th birthday, and she was complaining about pain by her eye, and you know, in her head behind her eye. And she finally got checked and less than a week from getting checked, she got, she died of an aneurysm. So, if that's not a big reason to go vegan, to try to keep things flowing and things like that, then, you know, it's just so many different reasons why we're supposed to know should go vegan for the health purposes. Young lady died, man, 30 years old, awesome. But at the end of the day, once that happened, then the business and things went down. So, I had this loan, Sally Mae kicked me in the butt, 16 years, I took out some stocks a few, about four months ago, and I paid her off. I just got the letter like two weeks ago, saying that, for you guys that don't know how the ending of Sally Mae is, I got the letter saying that, let me take the hood off of this, feel some rain on the head. Yeah, for... Sally Mae says, congratulations, you have completed the loan payment, and you are now a free man. Yeah, 
So anyway, I took the clinical on Friday. Um, let me get it right. I took the clinical on Friday, last week Friday. And the thing was, I was so prepared, studying and excited over it and everything, I decided to, when I went, I didn't bring the paperwork with me that I was supposed to bring from my school. I didn't bring a pen or a pencil, but um, but I had everything here, was ready to go. So when I went, the, the guy that was checking us or whatever, he basically said, um, you know, I saw everybody going out of about eight people in the, you know, that were getting um, their certification for that day test. I was like the last person to go. And it's a lot of things you got to go through. It was from 8.30 in the morning to 4.30 in the afternoon. Intense questioning and skill training and knowledge and things like that. So let me tell you, I posted up online when I finished the three-week training about three weeks ago. And what happened was, you know, I had excellent grades. But I was so freaking nervous, man. I'm not a person to be nervous like that. My hands never sweat. My hands were sweating the whole time. I was so scared because I know that this is going to be a life-changing career for me. And look at these fruits behind us here. So, um, so yeah, so anyway, as I'm going through the test, when I'm talking to the guy one-on-one -on -one in the morning, the thing was, he basically said to me that um, he was like, oh man, um, something's wrong here. You don't have your paperwork. You don't have a pen. I was like, excuse me, I don't have a pen or a pencil either. You know, I hope that, you know, I'm, I'm sorry to say. I just wanted to let him know from the door. You know, I'm honest. He was like, oh, something ain't right. Something's just not right here. I'm not, I'm, I don't know. I can't figure it out, but something's just not right. Now, let me tell you how honesty is the best policy. So, as I was talking about, you know, whatever was going on, you know, with him questioning me and things like that, and he kept saying, kept stressing, something's not right. And I said, I'm sorry, sir. I said, I could understand if you send me home right now. I said, you know, I could definitely understand because I'm definitely not prepared. So... When I went to sit down, because what they do, they ask you a series of five, ten minutes of questions. You go sit down, they ask another person to come. You, they rotate, like, the, for, for about three, the first three hours. So, once I sat down, then I was whispering with a few people at my table, and one girl that failed, that came back for a second time, she was like, oh, um... You know, when I explained to what what happened and what I said, and she said, well, that's where you messed up. She said, what you should have did was, you should have, you know, they, he was looking at your opinion on how you did things, and you should have, you know, not said, oh, if you send me home, which I understand that she definitely was right, and it clicked in real fast, and I just, you know, I didn't have an attitude or anything, but I was just trying to just, you know, like, have compassion, like, you know, just be understanding with the guy like I wasn't trying to be a jerk or anything like that but you know I wasn't prepared wasn't prepared wasn't prepared you know so anyway I said all right let me flip this because I know they talk about knowledge is one thing being technical is something else but then having compassion is something totally different so what I did was I put the compassion on 100% not even 100%, 200% compassion. So, what I did was, I went to, and this rain feels great on the scalp, like, feels awesome. So anyway, you guys gotta try it. I mean, you ain't gotta shave your head or anything, but um, it just feels good to walk out in the rain without the umbrella, seeing everybody else all covered up and all worried and stressed out over the rain. Oh, it's raining out, like, come on, man, this is beautiful. Anyway, so, when it came down to a test that we took, a written test, and I always do excellent on tests. Now let me tell you, this is the this is important here. This is about as real as it comes. I ain't gonna front, you know. People try to like think everything is roses and everything is great. Everything is not always freaking great, man. So what happened was, look at this snake plant in the window. Look how big that plant is right there. Awesome. So anyway, 
what I did was I took a test, it was 36 questions. Out of the 36 questions, your boy who always gets one, two wrong or whatever, the really always does good. I have a um, 3.5 GPA. Didn't finish school. I went like four years ago, I went for radiology. Didn't finish that either. I got about 30 credits. 3.5 GPA. Anyway, anywho, um, I got out of 36 questions, I got 18, half of them. That's 50%. I got half wrong. Like it was different part questions and things like that. And if you got like one little part of the piece wrong, then the whole thing is wrong or whatever. I couldn't believe it. I had confidence and everything. I felt really good. So we went to lunch. When we went to lunch, then came back. And when we came back from lunch, we um he he, he sat us down, we went to another room, and he sat us down, he talked literally for three hours. When he talked for three hours, I showed so much interest. The young lady that told me to, to um, you know, that I was answering wrong you know, in the beginning, that I was here for the second time, she was literally falling asleep while he was talking. It was really interesting what he was talking about. And he made her stand up. She stood up for two hours because he said, if I have to tell you to wake up one more time, then I'm telling you to leave. The guy wasn't no joke. He was like a, a it seemed like a, a, an ass at first. But you can't always look at those things as somebody being that. Like it's, you can't always look at the negative. You gotta look at the positive and things. So at the end of the day, I was so interactive. I was talking about things. I questioned things. When people didn't have questions, which a lot of people didn't, I made sure I had one, two questions all the time. Excuse me, sir. You know, I addressed him by his name, Mr. Solomon and everything. He's awesome. I love him. And. At the end of the day, he gave, he said, some of you are going to come back, some of you I might give a chance to, whatever. So, when we went back to the room, he talked to us individually again, and the question that we got wrong, he gave us a chance to talk to us again, question us, and what happened was, if we were able to answer the questions correct to him, verbally, as opposed to what we wrote down and got incorrect, long story short, I aced everything, except for one, there was one thing that I was mix, mixed up about, and he told me that he understood that, and being that it was only one thing, long story short, everybody, I was the last one to go, everybody kept on, everybody passed, matter of fact, so I was the last one, when I finished, I didn't know whether I passed or not, and they, you know, because it wasn't clear, so, and I was really nervous, so, he was talking to us, and he was telling everybody, on Monday, Everybody is going to go to clinical, I mean, I'm sorry, he's going to go to orientation from 7.30 in the morning to 4.30. So I raised my hand, and everybody was like in support of me and everything. They were telling me to ask, but I was really nervous and scared, because I just knew I wasn't going to pass from, you know, from him telling me from the beginning that something's wrong, something's wrong. So, so I said, excuse me, Mr. Solomon, I said, everybody, he was like, yeah, everybody. I was like, whoo, <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Like, I was so happy. And the whole class, literally, everybody in there cheered. And he didn't smile the whole time. And for the first time, he smiled. I stood up. I said, I'm so I said sir, I really, I thank you for giving me the opportunity. Giving me that chance to be able to make a, you know, make up for, you know, have the confidence for me to give me the chance to even try to do better to, to be impressionable to show you that you know whatever you felt that was wrong in the beginning for me not being prepared that i was really more of a prepared more of a stable structured person compassionate caring and let me tell you with this thing he was saying that if somebody's like really technical and knows that thing but they're not compassionate then he would um you know and if a, 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 a patient would pick between somebody who's technical, knows their thing, everything step by step, but then somebody who has compassion and made them feel like alive, like they really cared about the person, then the person will pick that person that doesn't know as much, but is like compassionate and caring and loving. So, this video's been going on. I'm not gonna let it go past 15 minutes. Got a few seconds left. It's all about compassion and love, man. That's what everything is about. Confidence, compassion, love. 
not about me, it's about we. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe. Love you guys. Till the next time. Get that rain, man. Don't worry about that umbrella. Love you.